Welcome to Keyboarding Online's Troubleshooting Java for Mac tutorial. The first thing you want to do when troubleshooting the Java plugin is to make sure your system and Java are all up to date. To do this, click on the Apple logo on the top left here and click on Software Update. After the progress bar completes, it will let you know if there are any available updates. If there are, like you see here, just click on Continue and follow any installation prompts that appear. You may need to restart your Mac to complete the installation process. Next, make sure that your web browser has Java enabled. For example, in Safari, click on the Safari menu here and click on Preferences. In the Preferences window that pops up, click on where it says Security and make sure that there's a check mark right next to Enable Java. Go ahead now at this point and try to load the program again to see if the issue is resolved. If the program is still not loading, then the next thing to try is to check your Java Preferences and delete Java cached files. The easiest way to find Java Preferences is to spotlight search for it by clicking on the magnifying glass here in the top right corner and typing in the word Java and then Preferences and go ahead and click on the first result that appears there. In the Java Preferences, you first want to check the preferred order list under the General section. Now you may have multiple instances or versions of the Java plugin. If so, make sure that the newest version of Java is listed at the top and has a check mark next to it. To move the preferred order list around, simply click and drag to the top. Next, click on the Network tab and then click on Delete Files at the bottom there. A pop-up window will appear. Just make sure that each list here is checked and then select OK. Again, go ahead and try and load the program at this point and see if the issue has been resolved. If you are still having issues with the program loading, then you may need to reinstall Java completely. To do this, you first need to know what Java version you have and what version of Mac OS X you are running. To check your version of Mac OS X, click again on the Apple logo in the top left corner here, and this time choose About This Mac. A window will open up, and you will find the version number here under Mac OS X. Now if it says something else other than version, then click on this area multiple times and it will toggle between the serial number, build number, and version number. Go ahead and write down or make a mental note of the version number. To check what version of Java you need to reinstall, first open your spotlight again up here in the top right corner and type the word terminal. Then just click on the first result that appears. With the terminal window loaded, type in java space hyphen version and press enter. The java version will appear here. Write this number down exactly or leave the window open for reference. Next, open up Safari and go to apple.com and click on the support menu in the top right. Then click on downloads. Once this page loads, type in the word Java, then your Java version number, then for Mac OS X, and then your Mac OS X version number, just like you see here. In the results that appear, look for the download that matches your version number. For example, here the first result is for version 1.6.0 underscore 29 and I'm looking for 1.6.0 underscore 31 for Lion, which is actually the second one listed here. If you're not sure, you can click on the title for more details. Once you have found the right version, click on Download. Once downloaded, open up the downloaded file and follow the installation prompts. Uh, for example, in Safari, you can just click on the top right and it will appear under the download section. Or you can open up your downloads folder from Finder and find it there. Usually it will be on the top. 
you may have to close all windows and restart the computer to complete the installation process. Try to load the program one last time. Uh, if you're still having issues, the last thing to try out is to create a new user. This is kind of like starting fresh on a clean slate. This is done under Users and Groups from your System Preferences, which is found under the Apple logo here uh, entitled System Preferences. If you have any questions on how to create a new user, you can visit the following URL here at the bottom or just go to Apple's support page and type in how to create a new user account. And if after all of that you still can't get the issue resolved, you can always visit Java's support page by visiting the URL listed here. You can also try downloading and using a different web browser such as Firefox or Chrome. The issue might also be caused by a corruption in the operating system or hardware failure in which case your best bet is to either reinstall your operating system or just simply use a different computer. If you feel the issue may be system-wide with the website itself, please submit a ticket from our website under Contact Us here at the top, or you can also get to it by clicking on Tech Support and then Contact Us. We will try to respond to your ticket within 24 to 48 hours or sooner. Thanks and happy typing!